this thing working? I, I have no idea. It's been that long. So ever since I used it, the, the dust is just building up. Hello guys, how is it going? I am MCR Gamer. So as we know, Intel will soon be releasing their 8th generation CPU, codename Coffee Lake. Now, from rumours that we've heard, it is not compatible with any current motherboard, which is a bit of an issue for us all. But, as we know, retailers will be keeping up with this, and the new generation motherboards are coming out that are fully compatible with Coffee Lake. That's why we are here in this video. MSI have very kindly sent me over their brand new Z370 motherboard, which is this bad boy. The Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Fully compatible with the 8th generation Intel CPU. We get to take a look at it now. This is an exclusive, guys. Keep watching. But I know you keep them watching. Issue is, due to NDA matters, we cannot actually bring you a benchmark of the 8th gen Intel CPUs on this motherboard. What we can do is give you an unboxing experience and give you a brief overview of what this motherboard can actually do. But but anyway, let's, let's just get to the unboxing guys. Let's go. So here we are, we have the motherboard, Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC, the usual MSI stuff on the front, nice box, let's have a look on the back, there we are, lots of information on there, as they normally do, nice and colourful, but there does seem to be quite a bit more information on the back of this than normally do get on a MSI motherboard box, but anyway, you know, that's enough of the Box. Oh, 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 there we do have the Intel 8th Gen chip inside. Well, it's not actually inside, but you know, anyway. But uh, let's get into the box. So then we're going to go and open it up. There it is, the motherboard. But uh, first, before we actually take a look at that, well, let's take a look and see what's underneath the box. Yeah. I love this motherboard, but the bag's already open. Strange. Anyway, let's have a look underneath here. And we have nothing underneath. Let's take this tray out. And there we go. Ah, there we are. Lots of stuff underneath here. So we have the quick start guide. It's always handy to know. Next up, we have our labels. It's always good to have if you wanted to keep a nice, tidy setup. We have our DVD ROM. Does anybody still use DVD ROMs? I'm not too sure. But anyway. Yeah. Ah, here we are. Thank you for choosing a MSI product. It's always nice getting these. Little thank you note inside an MSI box. I'd miss it if they weren't putting these in. What else do we have? Ah, yes, the IO shield. I love when they put the little uh, logo on the front of that. It's a nice little touch. Looks really nice as well. Let's go back into it. We have a cable. We have another cable. And what's this? Ah, oh, right. This is the uh, antennas for the Wi Fi. Yep, that's correct. That's, that's good to have. And another cable. And we have another cable. And we have the SLI bridge. It's a nice touch as well. Good that they've actually included that. It's quite handy that it's in there. I like that. And what do we have here? We have another cable. But nice little touch there. They actually put the MSI logo on the bag. On all of them actually. It's a really nice touch. I like that. But, you know, it's good to see. And we have a 
have here. Ah, yes, this is actually the Wi Fi adapter. Ah, it's got the MSI logo, well, MSI symbol on the back. Yeah, it's nice that we've actually included it, it's really good. And we have a little screw here. And then we have the actual user manual. It's very colourful. It's nice, ah, yeah, MSI logo. We're gonna focus, we're gonna focus. We're not gonna focus. But, yeah. But yeah, see, uh, the Game Pro Carbon user guide is nice and cool. That's everything that's in the box, so uh, let's get rid of that. And we will bring over the motherboard. Here we are, guys. This is what we're actually here for, isn't it? Let's be fair. But yeah, the bag was already open. But anyway, let's uh, reach inside. Let's pull out this motherboard. There we go, guys. Look at that. It's a really nice small board. It's great quality again. I like I like all the touches to it. It's you know just the the little things. Obviously we've got the the M.2 shield or the carbon fiber finish as well. It's really nice. It feels good. Build quality is brilliant and just genuinely looks nice. And the back well just looks like it's standard motherboard really. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with the overall build quality of it. But what do we expect really from an MSI product? But anyway guys, what we'll do now, we will go ahead and we will take a little bit of a close look and look at the features of this motherboard. Let's go. Most of MSI's Z370 motherboards actually come with the same features as the previous Z270 and X299 motherboards. So most users will be fully aware of what they actually include. However, there are a few new things to point out. All of MSI's new Z370 motherboards use an all digital PWN design to take full advantage of the new 6 core CPU SKUs. MSI have actually added more phases to the boards to get the most of the new CPUs for better overclocking, both frequency and stability. The Z370s also come with two RGB headers one of the new ones actually being called Rainbow. While all the Z270s had an RGB header for external RGB cables, MSI have actually introduced a second one, as I said before, which is called Rainbow. It's slightly different to the existing header because the Rainbow header allows control of individual LEDs on the RGB strips, rather than only being able to control them all at once. You can actually create and customize LED strips of multiple colors and patterns, which is a nice touch. Also included on the Z370 is a Corsair header. As we all know, Corsair and MSI worked a lot in the past on VGA and desktop products. So the introduction of a dedicated 3-pen header for Corsair Link on the motherboards seems like a logical step and is actually a brilliant thing to do. There's also been a slight update to the BIOS, just cleaning things up, making it slightly easier for when you want to do an update. So there we go guys, that is the MSI z370 gaming pro carbon ac sorry i couldn't bring any benchmarks but as i said i'm currently under nda about them with coffee lake but this is the motherboard guys this is a z370 motherboard it's one of the first looks you'll get it's a great motherboard as msi always do packed full of features that i'm sure you will all love let me know what your comments are, what your thoughts are on this motherboard. Let me know what you think you should be seeing soon coming to motherboards as well. I know a lot of you have got some ideas about what you'd rather be seeing on motherboards. What you think should be taken away now. But there we go. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And as always, bye bye for now.